since releasing his debut single, Watch You Say, Jason Derulo hasn't stopped making hits. Tracks like In My Head, Trumpets, and Want To Want Me have all shot up the charts. In 2020, he dropped the now four times platinum Savage Love, which made headlines here for sampling a track by Kiwi beat maker George 685. Savage love, did somebody, did somebody break your heart? Then, last year, off the back of a viral online trend, he dropped a remix of a track with British documentary maker Louis Theroux. My money don't jiggle, jiggle. Oh, I like to see you wiggle, wiggle. And today he's been announced as a headline act for Friday's Live hitting Spark Arena this November. Maybe. Joining us from LA, please welcome Jason Derulo. I was had, I was had, Jason, you are heading back to Aotearoa for Friday's Live. Um, everyone's really looking forward to seeing you again. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's about to be turned up. We're about to have some fun out there. And Jason, have you noticed a difference, like, post-pandemic? Do you think that people are noticeably more ready to get out and party again? Oh, 100%. You know, I feel like these kinds of events are way different now than they were before because we just appreciate them a lot more. You know, you, you don't know what you got till it's going, and we and our freedom was going for, for uh, quite a bit of time. So um, I've, I've really noticed a change in people uh, mm -hmm. with, within live shows. It's really, really uh, uh, special every single time. Have to mention a young Kiwi artist called Josh Six Eight Five. Uh, your collaboration, Savage Love, with him really launched his music career. What did you love about his cut so much? Um, I, I loved everything about it. I mean, honestly, to be able to collaborate with somebody that's you know living all the way on the other side of the planet, um, I think in itself is something uh, pretty special. Um, but yeah, it it reminded me of. Uh, my Caribbean roots. You know, that sound is very reminiscent of, of what I'm used to. So it was just something that caught me and caught my heart. And uh, to be able to work on a song like that, uh, you know, I think it's, it's really, really special. So I can't wait to put to perform it uh, in New Zealand for the first time, actually. I haven't performed it in New Zealand yet. Awesome. There was a long pause there where you're trying to remember what country you're coming to. <laughs> now, you're the um, king of TikTok. Um, how, do you, how, how do you stay in shape eating all that sugar? Do you have to work out doubly hard afterwards? <laughs> you know, I try to I try to balance. I mean, you you can't outwork your diet, so you know I I, <laughs> I I try to just balance out. If I know I'm gonna have a milli meal, um, I know I'm not gonna really eat too crazy within that day, you know, and and just try to balance it that way. Honestly, I think life is short, so you gotta enjoy. Um, you gotta enjoy life too. It can't just be diet, 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 strict, strict, strict all the time. So. Um, I do take it to the extreme, though. <laughs> uh, OK, speaking of extreme, Jason, I saw a video of you with your son in a Ferrari, but, like, in a car seat. I mean, who knew you could put a car seat in a Ferrari? I mean, first off, I had to Google whether that was legal or not. <laughs> not Google, that's perfectly legal. I was like, oh, it had, like, the, uh, the car seat um, hooks on it and everything. I was like, oh, this is incredible. I, I had to, to, to make sure that it was, it was going to be uh, safe uh, for the young boy, but... Um, yeah, we, we had a good time. He's a, he's a, a car kid, for sure. <laughs> in, in your book, you talk about um, opening for Lady Gaga and having to fill 30 minutes with only two songs. Was that terrifying? Oh, my goodness. I mean, yeah. I mean, it was, well, it was 2010. At that point, I had only put out two songs. I was doing all kinds of different versions of what you say and all kinds of different versions <laughs> in my head to fill up that 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, very clever. Uh, Jason, <laughs> thanks so much for your time. All right, it was my pleasure. Thanks so much. Very clever. I don't know why. I, I think it's because he's really handsome, so I had to kind of be motherly to him. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can see Jason Derulo at Friday's Live in Auckland on Thursday, the 16th of November. Yeah, and the lineup is amazing. If you haven't seen it yet, check out all the artists. Some huge names coming to New Zealand. Oh, who's your favourite? Artist on that lineup, Jesse. Um, I'm a big Florida fan. <laughs> <laughs> I think he means the, he means flow rider to yeah. anybody. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. That's what I said. Who might not get that? Uh, are, you, are you into any of these artists? Boys to Men might have been my like the second cassette tape.
that I ever wow. owned showing her age. Yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. How old like were you when you got Boys to Men? Uh, maybe like 12. Was it appropriate to be listening to, I'll make love to you? <laughs> <laughs> and then, now we've come <laughs> to the end, end of the road. But it's also, and then at the end of the song, morbid. there's that guy's like, Girl, you're 12 years old and you're listening to Boys to Men. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really sorry, everybody. I didn't know there was going to be so much singing. <laughs>